We have to face the fact that the Syrian crisis is here to remain for some time. Even if the war was to miraculously end tomorrow, there are going to be issues we're going to be dealing with, I, I, I'm going to say 10 years, that's just a number, but for, for a number of years. And clearly, the war is not going to end tomorrow. Clearly, there's, there's no near end in sight to what's going on in Syria. So the international community has to face the fact that we're going to be working on this for a long time. And we need to start talking about how we're going to do that. Because generally, humanitarian aid is, is designed for short-term reactions, not for long-term. So there are a couple things I, I, I would encourage everyone to focus on. One is the whole humanitarian to development conversation. How do we get development aid more involved so that we're dealing with some of the issues of refugees, particularly in Lebanon and, and, and Jordan, uh, with development? concepts and also working with the host communities that are affected. Uh, I, I think as probably everyone knows in this room, 80% of the world's refugees are not in camps. And that's, that's as true in the Middle East as it, is, as it is anywhere else. All of the refugees in Lebanon are not in camps. There are urban refugees, most in, uh, in, uh, Le in uh, Jordan. And the numbers, I think, is 240,000 in camps in Turkey and, and the rest not. So uh, how do we deal with those people? How do we get more development aid involved? Um, how do we support the host communities within which these populations live? Lots, most of the time, urban refugees move in areas which are the poorer areas in cities, which already have needs and strained social services. So can we support those communities with development and humanitarian aid? 